Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Blindly Play Resident Evil 2 with Miwix Fu. And this is not the episode that I want it to be because I want to just keep going around this... This nice little police department without a care in the world, just... Having fun... Running around, not having to actually do anything significant. So I'm going to check this hallway one more time. <laughs> Doors nailed shut. Doesn't look like I can pass through here. But it does look like Sherry could. Uh, wait, did I check that panel? Is there anything I can do with that panel? No. Okay, enough delaying the inevitable. We're going to fight some zombies. We gotta get out a grenade launcher, because we're gonna be fighting a few of them. And we're not gonna have a lot of room. And I'm probably gonna die. Ain't life a bitch. <laughs> well, I should be asking Claire, not you guys. Because <laughs> she's the one that's gonna die <laughs> if I screw up. <laughs> so, Claire. Ain't life a bitch? It is, isn't it? Well, no time like the president. <laughs> no time like the president. Did I just really say that? No time like the present. God. <laughs> Get in there. And... Anytime now. Action! I took out one zombie with a grenade launcher. Fantastic. <sighs> no, get off. I can't even try to kill you guys in peace. You guys are the worst at playing along. Well, you know what? Take that. Are you actually dead? That makes my job pretty easy. This time. Thank you. But I just... <sighs> I'm out of grenade ammo. Great. I never checked these crates, by the way. Just gonna check them now, just in case. Maybe I'll come, ac come, ac come across... A... Very lucky cache of grenade grenades for my grenade launcher. That would be too lucky, though. Oh, no. And I know what room is next. It's locked. A special kind of key is required. I know, because I kind of know what's in there. There are outfits for Jill and... Not Jill and Chris. For Leon and Claire. Uh, just because I was wondering what kind of key opened them one day. And I, c I couldn't help it. Besides, it's... It's empty. That's fantastic. Until the next time I have to move through here. But... Yeah, I'll use that lockpick. What are you... Plastic bomb. Oh, yes, I will take that plastic bomb. All my... Yes, all I need to... All I need is a detonator. All my prayers have been answered. It's not hard. Because I don't pray. <laughs> oh, my God. And blowgun bolts. Oh, bowgun bolts. Not <laughs> blowgun. I'm like... Wait a minute. Do I get a blowgun? Like... Indiana Jones natives blowing darts that'll paralyze you, blowgun? <laughs> oh, man. That's the film. I need a detonator. Which is probably gonna be in the other set of officer offices. <laughs> I'm really really hoping that it does not become 
massive zombie central as soon as I go back in there. Really hoping. Oh, no, 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 no. I want to develop the film. Oh, actually. <laughs> changed my mind. Uh, I will throw the plastic bomb in there, because I'm assuming that it's going to be a little while until we find a detonator. I'm assuming it's going to be behind the other door we need to open with the diamond key. Thank goodness that I got bowgun darts. Anyway, these are the pictures of the zombie, which we already got with Leon's story, so I'm not going to worry too much about them. If you want to know more, you can pause the video and read about them. But I'm just going to keep going because I'm kind of on a roll. <laughs> and the only reason we're on a roll is because there were no zombies in here. But, nope, they're still not in here. Oh, oh, man. It's beautiful. I bet they're going to be in here, though. Good thing I've got the bowgun out. Yep. I don't have the bowgun out. I don't have the bowgun out. No, 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 no. No. Get, get off. That's not how it's supposed to work. You're supposed to die. Like that guy did. Hopefully. Yeah, like that. Caution. Okay, we can take one more hit, I think, before we go into danger. And then I'll use the, uh, the herbs. Alright, I see the zombie in there. Suspicious, but I want a glass of water. <laughs> this water is suspicious. Yeah, yeah, I see him. I think these guys are all dead. I'm just gonna keep going on because, uh, well, I know we gotta go into that office because there's gonna be something in there. And I just want to check these lockers. Handgun ammo is what I like to see. Oh, is he moving out? N no. Coming out? Come on, buddy. He's not dead. But I'm not wasting any more bowgun bolts. Wait, how did I use 18 bowgun bolts in, like, three shots? <sighs> okay, there's nothing on there. Is that the detonator? It's the detonator! Woohoo! Uh, it seemed like, uh... The bowgun used more than one ammo per shot, though. Ugh... means I've almost run out of ammo for my best weapon. Yay! <laughs> okay, so we've come to decision time. Do we blow open the wall and find out what's behind that way, or do we... Uh... Do we fight zombies? Um... Lots of zombies. I think at least six. I'm gonna say blow open that wall. Just cause, well... I don't... I don't want to fight those guys. <laughs> I know there's something else we can do with the diamond key. But... I'm not going to yet. I'm also going to assume that that's another hallway that we're going to meet long, tall, and gruesome. Perhaps. Perhaps. First things first, let's mix these herbs. Mix these herbs. Come on. 
Claire, mix those herbs, and let's get us some C4. Heal ourselves up to full. There we go. Do we need the lighter for that? No, we shouldn't. <laughs> C4 isn't flammable. Alright. Time, finally, to open that wall up. With some controlled demolition. Time to take vengeance on this wall for... The wasted ammo of my grenade launcher. I don't know. No, we need to combine it, don't we? Yep, there we go. Bomb and detonator. Yes, I do. Uh... Here? 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 Okay, throw me a bone, please, game. I need to figure out where this goes. There we go. <laughs> God, that was annoying. Right, and is it just... Ah, uh, yes, walk right in. Oh, no. Got a bad feeling about this. Oh, no. Never mind. Although, I, I heard a noise right before we went in. That's given me a bad feeling, but, uh... Nothing doing. Well, this is... pretty fancy. Is this the actual chief's office, then? Huh. Talk about someone living in, living in the lap of luxury. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm just trying to make sense of this picture. Okay, so there's a dead woman lying on the desk. There are various trophies on the right wall, and then I'm assuming that's a chair in the back. I'm hoping that's a chair in the back, because it would be terrible if it wasn't. There's nothing strange about them. There's totally nothing strange about this whole scene. Is she a trophy? <laughs> oh! Oh. I'm terribly sorry. I thought you were another one of those zombies. Are you Chief Irons? Yes, that's me. And just who are you? No, don't bother telling me. It makes no difference. You'll end up just like all the others. That's the mayor's daughter. I was told to look after her, but I failed miserably. Just look at her. She was a true beauty. Her skin nothing short of perfection. But it will soon putrefy, and she will turn into a zombie within the hour, like all the others. There must be some way to stop it. In a manner of speaking, there is. Either by putting a bullet through her brain, or by decapitating her completely. Oh, and to think that taxidermy used to be my hobby. Oh. But no longer. <laughs> Please. I'd really like to be alone now. Oh. Um, oh. Uh, no. Okay. Oh, that is a good... Oh, that is a good twisted character. That is a good, twisted character. Well done, Resident Evil 2. Re well done!
well done. Oh jeez, hello. <laughs> Wasn't expecting a lion. Okay, while we have a moment of silence... Well, wait, no, okay. While we have a moment of calm... <laughs> uh... I'm gonna end the, ep end the episode. So, um... Wow. That, that was... wow. That was a very well-crafted cutscene and well-crafted character, Capcom. I applaud you. Alright, um... <laughs> I like the whole twisted Van Helsing vibe he's giving off, too. Uh... Anyway. This has been another episode of Let's Blindly Play Resident Evil 2 with Mioix Fu. See you next time. Take it easy. Okay, um, some of you might wonder why I didn't really comment on that cutscene much. Uh, it didn't need comment. It there was nothing funny about it. I uh, like I didn't I didn't find any of it comical. I thought it was well paced, well or well crafted, and it was genuinely creepy and kind of and genuinely kind of twisted. So, again, I applaud Capcom for that cutscene because, wow, that was very good. <laughs>